I got it. Jeannie, I have to say, yes, you looked yes. absolutely beautiful last night. And you yes. nailed it. Thank you for cutting the red carpet for evening. Thank you. So I gotta ask you, what would you say were the top three looks of the evening? It was so hard because there were so many great colors and people who really yeah, went I there. Love that. Yeah, it was but great. I, yeah, it was a good carpet. But I do break, like, if you're gonna make my list, I always look for three things. Technical styling, a risk taker, and someone who's effortless, okay? What's so, technical, technical styling? styling? So technical <laughs> styling is when you have a gown that can be complicated because the, dress, the best dress list isn't about the dress. It's about the entire ensemble mm -hmm. that the stylist works so hard to put together. So for technical styling, I gotta give it to my girl, Carrie Russell. Oh my gosh, she yes. looks unbelievable. She's oh, on the American. Now, it. Now, tailoring. Yeah, e tailoring everything. Okay. So well Beautiful. tailored. You have a dress here that has feathers. It has two thigh high slits, a plunging neckline, and a oh, belted wow. piece. That's a lot. Normally, a stylist who just wants to like make it an easy job, they put a nude heel and they yeah. just pull the hair back and they're like, leave it be the dress. But this stylist actually went there and went with a spiral beautiful champagne heel, oh. put a great drop earring, and then the hair was undone. The hairstylist was like, let the hair not take a back seat, but just sit there right there in the driver's, right. you know, in the passenger seat to just still bring the look together. I'm into it. So I like that. Now for risk taker, uh -huh. I really loved my girl, friend of our the show, Tracy. Ellis I knew you were Ross. gonna say that. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Because I thought that too. Yes. Yeah. Now here's the thing. I know everybody else is thinking, why would you wear a gown like this? Love like, it. Who are you gonna sit by? How are you gonna fit in your yeah. seat? <laughs> How do you pose? This is what we consider an editorial gown. So Stop. it needs like a magazine shoot in the right angles. But she don't care because Tracy Ellis Ross, you rock it for the moment. <laughs> you make it your moment. You're at the Emmy. She's a walking editorial piece. She literally she walked really out is. and she got her pose down, which was kind of like this set hand. <laughs> and she just went to every photographer like this and then smooshed it upon her face. She made every paparazzi get an editorial shot, which is sick, girl. Yes, I love it. You. I love it. And then the third one, I would say, has to be the effortless look. I give that to the beautiful Jessica Biel. Hands down. Yes. Here's oh, why. Funny. Here's why. When you want to look effortless, you want to look like, not Gorgeous. that you put little time into your look, but that it didn't take much. And with her hair just in cascaded mm -hmm. in waves, she threw on a pop of a lip. She didn't all, have a lot of makeup on no, either. No, not at all. It was yeah. just a lip and some mascara. Threw on the dress, brought her freaking accessory, Justin Timberlake, and was like, <laughs> bye. <Okay. laughs> yeah, good. It's a good yeah, look. That, that was good. good. Yeah. That was a good pitch. Yes. Yes. And I would also say right now is such an important time in our country to, you know, speak your mind. Right. And I like people who also are brave enough to use fashion, not be pretty, right. but also use it to make a message. So, honestly, Tiffany Haddish, you wore a dress from Prabal that represented your country, where you've come from, Eritrean colors. And that dress, Beautiful. although everybody's gonna hammer it, that was a message for her. It wasn't about the moment, it was for her people, and I really respect that. Second one. <laughs> Is Jennifer Lewis. I Ms. love Jennifer this. Yes. Oh, okay. I love this. You, when you walk the red carpet, you care about what other people are thinking to be the best to dress. Right? Yeah. Jennifer Lewis said, I don't love care it. about fashion. It's not about this carpet. It's about what we need to know right now. Yes. I stand by Colin. I stand by Nike. She even had his afro. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> she, she I was here afro. for the whole cool. thing. Yeah, it was nice. I well, love that. Well, you know what? That was great, Jeannie. Yes. There were some big winners last night. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, I want to shout out the legendary Henley. Henry Winkler, the who won his yeah. first Emmy 43 years after his first nomination. Winkler won for Outstanding Supporting Actor. He is one of the nicest men yes, in Hollywood, yes. you guys, really. Yeah. And it was so nice to see him. He won for the series Barry. Also, Regina King won the Emmy for Lead yeah. Actress in a Limited Series for her role on Netflix, Seven Seconds. We also want to give a shout out to the iconic Betty White, oh, who is baby. 96 years young. She presented my golden last girl. night and made a hilarious joke about being the first lady of television. <laughs> also, we discussed on Girl Chat yesterday how Cat Williams got called out for making some negative mm. comments about Tiffany Haddish mm -hmm. on the radio over the weekend. But it looks like Tiffany and Cat made up backstage. Look That's at that. That's cool. Bow down. Pimp down. Pimp down. <laughs> I gotta it's give nice. it to Tiffany. That is really kind of her. You know, I, you can say forgive, and I totally believe in forgiving people, but I have a hard time forgetting. Like, the way he spoke about her, yeah. Yeah. like, I don't, 
I know I'm known for holding grudges. I'm a kid. <laughs> like, am I the only one that looks at that and is just like, man, but he talked so bad about it. But you. she knew she was gonna see. First of all, we all friends. Y'all gotta remember that. We all been in this comedy game a long time. Yeah. She knows that. That's Kat. not we how all friends know talk Kat. about each other. But no, well, we're all working friends. That's the whole thing. And the thing is that she knew she was gonna see him. She took the high road. Mm -hmm. When he probably looked at her, he remembered the times that we wasn't yeah. on television. Yeah. And it's like, Really, bruh? And we don't know what words were said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a call with her. But um, <laughs> you know, that's what you do. And it's, yeah. and that's one thing I do know about Cat. He knows when he's wrong. Yes. You know what I mean? And, and sometimes good. we get caught yeah. up in the moment. I'm just glad they wasn't fighting like uh, yeah. Tom Arnold and Mark Burnett. That's all. Yeah. I'm that saying, was a lot know? going on. Yeah. And I want to so. add, actually. There is a really beautiful gift that God has right there for you if you reach for it, which is honestly what Michelle Obama says. When they go low, you go high. Yeah. Honestly, right. it's the hardest thing to do. We've talked about this. We're kind of each other's <laughs> therapists when sometimes, you I'm know. I'm under construction with Jesus I right know, now. and that's okay. <laughs> sometimes it takes I don't time. Know. It does. Sometimes Tamara and I will talk about it and I'm like, you know this is what you're supposed to do, but feel what you're feeling right now. It's gonna take a moment. You do that with mm -hmm. me too. You're like, cry it out, hit a wall, whatever. Yep. But then you know that that's where you wanna be because that's where you're holding yourself out. So see your potential, not your problem. I get it. I just you know think I mean? you can love someone from, from a afar. distance. Yeah. Yeah. I, th okay. I think that if you've if you've set a boundary, drug, drag, drug my name yeah. through the dirt, and you talked about me the way, and then you say you're sorry. It's like a plate, right? Uh huh. You take a plate, you throw it on the ground, it breaks into a million pieces. You yell at the plate, "I'm so sorry." It still is broken on the floor. Like it doesn't come. How about you don't do the things that you got to say sorry for? Yeah. Like, okay. How about you be aware of but trashing do, people, I saying bad love things the about idea them? That love draws out hate. My grandmother used to always say, love the hell out of them. Meaning that hell is the ugliness. And when you love and you love and you love and you love and you never forget, when you have unconditional love, that's sometimes when you see change. Because my mom also said, two, two wrongs don't make a right. So if you're fighting, then the other one's fighting. I'm not fighting. And nothing, get, Just, nothing gets resolved. Yeah. But you're saying it's not. Staying over here. I hear you. I hear you. So, but I want to add fine. something. You're loving from afar. But yes. I think it was nice for her in that moment to show the world and the public, mostly, uh, most of all, Kat, like, look, I'm not going to let your negative words and what you said about me define how I treat you right, right. or others. Yes, and yes. that, yes. that's hard to do. Okay. But I, when you do it, you feel... You feel Go great. Make I want to add just one little thing to that analogy because I, I visualize too. And when my heart feels like it's broken and shattered, that's all I can picture about what someone you did publicly. Yeah, no, I get it. Kay. I get it. Here's one of the best books, though. The four I love reading. The four uh -huh. agreements. And one of the agreements is uh -huh. to not take it personal. Meaning, whatever that person did to you, it's not about you, them. It's about. It's not about you, it's about them. They're right, going right. through some stuff that's making you try to feel broken. And guess what? Those breaks, we're all broken somehow. But it's through those cracks that light shines through. You need to be broken it is to be a better person. Can I say that things. somebody that really session. looked good last night, too, was Angela Bassett. Stop I want to give a shout out to her. Iconic. She's 60 years yes. old, She's and 60? she looks great. Iconic. Yes. Look yes. At, okay. Ooh, look yes. at that. You better come the through. Yes. Wow. All the way that through. bone structure okay. is well, phenomenal. The one person who was not in attendance at last night's Emmys was former CBS executive Les Moonves. Oh. And speaking of Les, it was also announced yesterday that his wife, Julie Chen, Moonves. will be stepping you down. You got to do her whole name. Yes. You got to do her whole name now. Uh, okay. <laughs> but like you said, will be stepping down from her role as host of the talk. According to multiple news outlets, Julie, who has been absent from the talk's current season, will reportedly make a videotaped statement mm -hmm. during today's show. Oof. A source close to Julie told CNN, quote, she has decided that her main focus needs to be clearing her husband's name mm. from accusations made 25 to 30 years ago and tending to her son. As of now, there are no plans for Julie to leave her role as the host of CBS's reality show, Big Brother. So what do you guys think about Adrian, Ooh. I see you like... <laughs> Processing. <laughs> this is so... Yes. This has been really hard for me because I think as a woman, you hear these stories and you're like, gosh, that is so awful, right? Yep. Then as a wife, you hear this story and you're like, how embarrassing. You try to think of all the... I'm still a new wife, you know, I've only been married almost two years. Mm -hmm. But you think about, like, 
what she must be going through. And I'm just a girl's girl, so I always think about like, what, what is she going through as we're all looking at her like, uh, what you gonna say about your husband, you know? Mm -hmm. And they've been married for 14 years and they have one son. Mm -hmm. And my heart goes out to her. Mm -hmm. Because one, she still probably loves him. I'm thinking of, I think of my marriage and yeah. I think of, oh my God, God forbid something like this were to ever happen. I think you have to do some soul searching and the soul searching has to be, one, do you think he really did it? Mm -hmm. Well, now, my heart you, goes out to the victims, okay? It it's goes 12 out to the women victims as well. that are accusing him. And not of to course. cut you off, but it's just, the, what, one thing I want to say before we even, the women at the talk, Cheryl, Sarah, Eve, um, and Sharon, those are the nicest women. Yes, they we really at this are. table so wish you guys the best. Yes, yes. Yeah. What so you're gonna go I want to say. Nice. They are allies of ours. Uh -huh. They are right. friends here. And I think it's appropriate that she leaves. I think it's appropriate oh, I don't. because I think it is because it's, to me, you're talking about women's issues. You're talking about things. She's a woman. It would Why look can't hypocritical. She talk about it? But your, your, your husband is under um, accusations. And I think this Give is the break. time that she should be talking about it. If, if you have the greatest platform on daytime television Absolutely. to speak to the people, to say your voice, to say what... If you she really believe that. that he is innocent... She did. She did make okay. a statement initially. Mm, no, she my did. thing is, one, you got to do and some she said, I'm going to stand by my husband And if she stands no matter by what. him... But Girl, if she stands I have a by question. him, I have a then question, she should guys. stand by him. Why are you running? I, don't, don't, I have a question. don't hide. I have a question. Was it her choice... To stand down, or was it the producers of? You mean step down? A step, well, step down. Yeah. Well, or was I, it I don't producers? think we know that. Do we we, don't, know do we that. know that. We don't know okay. that. We don't know that. Okay. But she did come for the opinion. first. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I believe she had no choice but to step down, mm -hmm. only because when I watch the talk, it is about women empowerment, and they stand by the hashtag Me Too movement. So sure. she would be forced to talk about her, her issue. 100%. And the thing is, is her husband, unfortunately, is a part of the hashtag Me Too movement mm -hmm. in, a bad, in a bad way. So I'm thinking maybe she just doesn't want to talk about that right now. Sure. She doesn't want to open herself up because maybe she has to deal with that kind of stuff personally, and she's probably not ready because so those girls are going to be like, that's what's up? But like, well, why are you standing stand by your by man? Him. If you're going to stand by him, then stand by him all the way. Like, you got to think about this, man. If you are a wife and you believe in your heart, one, if you think he did it, mm -hmm. you definitely should not stand by him yep. just because he's your husband. Right. Wrong okay. is wrong is okay. wrong is wrong. Yes. And you should definitely be working just as hard to be there for those victims mm -hmm. if you believe he did it. Right. If you deep down in your soul stare into that man's eyes and you believe with all your heart that he did not do that, then I absolutely think that you should fight for that as well. But I'm saying as part of the show, I think it's appropriate that she leaves because she was up there... What, was she talking about Weinstein and being negative about yeah, right, that? Right. So it's like so everything you reflects back to what exactly. you're saying. She has to talk uh, about that. Yes. Yeah, and that's, that's where, what we're saying. Like, yes. give it a break. But she can, I hear she what, can always well, come back. Well, on this panel, what I love about this show is you guys... We don't all have to agree. Of course, no. of course. That's so, not so why can't show. she say her part, defend her peace, because it looks and let everyone? How does it look hypocritical to say because what you believe? If, if, if your husband, God forbid, ever did something, yeah. I'll be on you every day. I would be on you every day. As you that, should. And the as you should. If you believe you did it, but and as I should, if I did, talk about. I should be there able to defend There are other things him. to talk about on this show than whether your husband and your business leave the show, if, let the accusations work on it, and then come back if you it want to. It makes it look to me. Can I say something? It, it looks guilty when you don't defend yourself.